just a very quick video just to show you how the towers are doing that I put in here a couple of months ago. These are vertical horizons um, hydroponic growing towers. And we've got one here that's a metre tall. That one only consumes one watt of power, which is absolutely bugger all. So it costs next to nothing to run. The 1.5 metre tall one, which is five foot, that one only consumes oh, four watts of power. So again, it costs next to nothing to run. And the results, even in the middle of winter up in northeast England, are pretty damn good. Let's have a look. So as you can see, I have rather crudely installed some lights here. These are just clip-on LED lights from Amazon. I'll put the link to them if I can find them. Now these ones are daylight LEDs, so that they're just white light. Most often when you get these, they're all sorts of different colours, like the ones I have over here. Yeah, they're the coloured ones. Those ones really aren't the best for leafy veg. So I'm going to swap these ones out. Oh, no, actually that one is a daylight spectrum LED. Yeah, I need to sort this out. Let's forget about that for the time being. And move back to the towers. As I said before, it's the middle of winter in an unheated greenhouse. And these are the results. A lot of the lettuce in here have already been harvested, hence the empty spaces, but some of it hasn't. As you can see, it's doing pretty well. You know, I mean, this tastes really nice as well. Lettuce is such an easy thing to grow. Look at the size of that, man. You know, I mean, that's like a full salad there for a family, just out of that one pot. Admittedly, I do have two different sorts of lettuce growing out of there. I think I must have double planted that one but that is a full salad and I will actually be harvesting this pot for our tea tonight as an accompaniment to what I'm going to be making so I thought I'll just film this video just to show you how well this is doing if you have the means the space and the funds get one of these you definitely won't regret buying one of those it's an initial outlay which some people might think is too high considering the current cost of leafy veg, salad vegetables and so on. But if and when that supply of salad vegetables becomes either way more expensive or non-existent or limited, You've made a bloody good investment. You've got something there that costs next to nothing to run and it will provide you with some sort of sustenance and certainly nutrients. And the nutrient part of it is so important considering how nutrient deficient a lot of our food is in the UK and also, well, more so in the US. I mean, God, apologies to the folks in the US. But from what I gather, the food that you have in your supermarkets is not very good at all. So if you can grow your own, please grow your own. Now that video was probably a little bit unnecessary, but a few people have asked me how the towers are doing because unlike a lot of YouTube channels, when I feature something on my channel, it's because it's something that I genuinely use. I think some of the comments were just trolling me just to say, yeah, are you really using this? Or are you being paid to say that these things are good? No, these things are excellent. And I've spoken at length to Rupert from Vertical Horizons. I totally believe in hydroponic growing. It's so simple to do, and you can just grow yourself nutritious food so cheaply. Once you've made the initial outlay, and it's all about that initial outlay, some people will make it and then be happy going forward some people will not make it and they'll just continue to buy crap from the supermarket that's been doused in all sorts of chemicals really the choice is yours i feature these things on my channel because i believe in them and i don't really know what more to say about that um you know 
in an age of social media where so many people aren't genuine I just I like to keep it real <laughs> I <laughs> West Side <laughs> thanks for watching see you next time